Yellowstone supervolcano eruptions link to comet impacts, and there are seven impact craters worldwide. This is by Dr. Barry Warmkessel. I just found these today, and they're fascinating. Yellowstone eruption linked to comet impacts. He says it's only logical that the impact of a major comet or asteroid would produce geophysical shock that could initiate volcanic activity. Two recent works are referred here. The correlation found between impacts and increased volcanic activity and how asteroid triggers volcanoes or how impacts can trigger volcanoes. The comets and meteorite impacts on Earth occurred over the last 4 billion years to have directly correlated with the activity of strong and normal mantle plumes. Those are heated mantle rocks causing volcanic eruptions. For example, in Hawaii and Iceland, another hotspot is, of course, Yellowstone. Ten major peaks in terrestrial impact activity were seen. Nine of these are directly matched to peaks in mantle plume volcanism. See Extraterrestrial Influences on Mantle Plume Activity, Earth and Planetary Science Letters, January 28, 2003. And then, how asteroids trigger volcanoes, or how impacts can trigger volcanoes. There's been some evidence to verify this complex view that extinctions have multiple causes and that asteroids could be at the root of some of them. The overall effects of a one kilometer asteroid that's 0 0.62 miles or bigger could wipe out crops and bring human civilization to its knees. These imply that the comet meteor impact correlates with Yellowstone eruptions 2.1 and 1.3 million years ago. The impact caused the Yellowstone hotspot probably occurred 17.5 million years ago. The big splash scientists describe asteroids ancient ocean plunge. New seismic and deep sea surveys that were conducted in 1995 by the German research ship Polarsten Polar Stern enabled the scientists to accurately date the blast to the late Pliocene period that was 2.15 million years ago, and to gauge its effects. El Tannen, the only new seismic and deep sea survey conducted by the German ship, oh, sorry, the El Tannen, the only uh, asteroid ever known to have hit the water, triggered waves about 65 to 130 feet high, devastating mega tsunamis that swamped the coast of South America and Antarctica. The researchers estimate the asteroid was at least one kilometer, that's six tenths of a mile, possibly up to four kilometers, that's two and a half miles in diameter. Lake Bosumtui in Ghana, water fills most of the Bosumtui crater which is about six and a half miles in diameter and 1.3 million years old. So that crater, of course, coincides with the Yellowstone 1.3 million years ago eruption. The latter 1.3 million year ago impact appears to be one of modest size, perhaps a meteorite as small as half a kilometer, moving at 32 kilometers per second, but it is perhaps the most significant one of all. And while it's true that the exact date to the year of impacts and Yellowstone eruptions has not been found, dating these events which such, with such accuracy is currently impossible, while this website hypothesized frequent comet impacts, one of the scale on the scale of 4 kilometers seldom occurs. The uncertainty associated with the 1.2 million year age event, the Yellowstone 2.1 million year ago eruption, is only 50,000 years, while uh, the smaller 1.3 million year ago event is around 100,000 years. Nonetheless, correlation seems reasonable. Furthermore, the magnitude of the impacting body seems directly proportionate with the magnitude of the Yellowstone eruption. And, uh, then you have prophecies and comet impacts and Yellowstone eruptions. And um, I'll leave a link and you can see them on your own. Okay, very interesting. There's a lot of information on this.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.